Welcome me everyone, the first step to use nightstand mode is we're going to open up the settings and from here I want you to scroll all the way down until you see standby and first of all turn on standby make sure night mode is turned on if you have the always on option which is only available for the 2022 pro series of iphone and later then turn that one on as well i'd recommend it once you have done this we need to make sure that our phone is in landscape mode number one so it can be on you know, the floor like this or ideally you'd have it placed on a stand and once it's on a stand or like this then the phone must be charging so you can be charging with the charger cable if you would like or you can charge wirelessly i personally recommend what you do is you have the phone placed on a wireless charging stand because it will charge the phone and leave it standing and once that is done you're going to see the standby mode is on so we want the night mode to show and this is automatic when there is low light you're going to notice here if we give it a couple of seconds and i turn off this phone as well the screen is going to turn red you can see the screen has turned red and on the video looks orange but it is red the reason why you want the always on display is because you can see the screen just turns off you have to tap to wake if you don't have the uh, iPhone with the always on display feature, but you can see the screen is red, it's low light, no blue light is being emitted, so this will not affect your sleep, but it is still working. You can see right here, and everything is red, everything is as expected. When the light is introduced again, you can see the auto brightness kicks in, the red disappears, and you can use the phone like normal. And just a little couple of tips, you can swipe down from the far right hand side to access your control center. You can long press the power button for Siri. And when notifications show up, they will show up and you can tap to interact. You can swipe up and down on your widgets and you can long press to customize. Each view will have a long press option. And you can see you have customization options right here. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.